It was the late 19th century in the ancient lands of Abyssinia, modern-day Ethiopia. A young prince named Menelik was being educated by his tutors on the history and legends of his people. He learnt that he was a direct descendant of the union between the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon, connecting him to the powerful Solomonic dynasty that had ruled over this land for centuries. As Menelik grew into a man, whispers spread of his intelligence, courage and innate leadership abilities. The proud people of Abyssinia held him in high regard, believing he may be the one to unite the divided kingdoms and restore the nation to its former glory. At age 18, Menelik was thrust into battle when rivals attempted to seize his lands. With strategic brilliance and ferocity reminiscent of the fabled Lion of Judah, he assembled an army and defended his kingdom. Tales of his military triumphs against superior forces spread far and wide. Over the years through a combination of military campaigns and savvy diplomacy, the young prince steadily expanded his domain and influence over the region. He forged alliances and made shrewd marriages to unite feuding noble families under his rule. In 1889, at age 45, Men Elik marched on the imperial capital and overthrew the crumbling rule of Johannes IV to crown himself as Emperor Men Elik II of Ethiopia. He was determined to resurrect the prestige of the ancient Solomonic dynasty and transform Ethiopia into a modern, unified power able to withstand European colonization. Under his reign, his centralized authority reformed the military with modern weapons and expanded infrastructure like the rail system and telecommunications across the vast empire. His wise policies fueled an era of peace, stability and economic growth. Men Elik's defining moment came in 1896 when Italian forces attempted to occupy Ethiopia in pursuit of colonial ambitions. Wielding the powerful symbolic weight of the Kebra Nagist, an ancient relic said to contain the Ark of the Covenant, the emperor rallied his people against European aggression. In an extraordinary triumph against seemingly insurmountable odds, Men Elik's well-trained and motivated army dealt annihilating defeats to the Italians at the Battle of Adwa. This historic victory over a colonial power inspired independence movements across Africa and earned Men Elik worldwide fame as a La Pan-African hero. In his later years, the aging but still formidable Men Elik brokered favorable treaties to keep Ethiopia sovereign and expanded his empire through further victories. He passed away in 1913 after a 30-year reign, leaving behind a reinvigorated, territorially expanded and modernized nation ready to meet the challenges of the 20th century. Men Elik II was revered as the architect of the modern Ethiopian state, a larger-than-life warrior king who fulfilled his destiny to unite a fractured nation and defend its freedom against colonial designs through sheer force of will and military genius.